Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment. Drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Uh, it has really been difficult, actually. Um, even today, um, I tried to make some transactions, which they refused to collect the old notes. I have to make transfer. For you going to POS, it has really been very tasking. Like, you ask them, they will tell you there is no money. You go here to make transactions, they will tell you no money. You have money there in your account, but you don't have access to the money. It hasn't really been easy, actually. So please, the federal government should really see need to what the masses are passing through. You see, from the upset of this country, the old money and the new money should be used. In the sense that, by the time Nigeria was United States, when President Buhari came with Tunde Diagon, me, I live in Tunde Diagon house. I eat from Tunde Diagon food in the lorry. I was in Polytechnic by then. You understand my point now, that's 83. But things is not like this. Nigeria was 19 states by then. But about 36 states now. Look at the population of people suffering from money. One, enough of printing of new currency is not sufficient in circulation. The old one is not bad. It's the same federal government that printed it. Everybody mentioned one thing in my office. He said in uh, London, the king of England, when he died, that's Queen Elizabeth. Is that the old money they are using it? The new one they are using it, and they allow their people that any old money that come into the bank, it will not go out again. That is how Nigeria is supposed to be their one too. But I was surprised when you take everything by force. This is not military regime. This is not military regime. This is democracy. But the democracy of today, they do not listen with people that elected them into the government. Then how are we going to solve this problem? To my own side of this, we are facing three challenges now in this country. The first challenge is, is fuel. The second challenge is, is election. Because two elephants, three elephants are inside rank. Three elephants are inside the rank. Then the one that's going to be a winner, we have never known, but they know between themselves. And this one is not a mathematics of anybody. They have already done the mathematics in London. They are just telling we people in Nigeria that this is how it is, this is how it is. It's just a propaganda they are doing for us. It's less for people that are wise. To me, to me, I will never collect any PVC. To me, I will never, because there is no truth. The best government I've done, government, the first democracy, is done all over Sanjo. After all Sanjo, there is no any good government again. Let's be realistic. Because these people have carried all the masses as if we are we are slave to their side. I have my own money. I was coming from bank now. Look at the thing they gave me. I have my own money, my own money. At the end of I've graduated since 1994. There's nothing somebody can tell me about Nigeria coming. Look at what they gave me. This is never they gave me. And the money is paying to 2000 naira at the bank. Does it make sense? Does it make sense with my own money? I'm living in Kujay, I came from where in Kujay, and I'm working in the central area now. I have only 100 naira with me to go back. To go back to my house, I don't know. See, this is only 100 naira I have. I want to buy food at time for yesterday. I need to go to a man that has a PO machine and buy it from POS. Using machine to buy. How long are we going to be? Why do we elect people? If people want to be like me, nobody should come out and go out. Nobody should come out. Let military take over. You will be better. Let military take over. Left and I call Nene Sajeba. He said something. In 1999, I went to Left and I said Sajeba. I saw see where National Assembly people is, where the soldier people are living. Very close to Durumi. I built in Durumi that time. Then they said, Left and I said Sajeba said what one thing. He said, masses will beg soldier before we come back. I wrote that statement. I wrote that statement since that 1999 and it has been happened. It has been happened and it happened to the end of the issue now. 
then who are we going to trust? Is he Obia? Is he the trust person? Is he Atiku? Is the trust person? Is he Dunubu? Is the trust person? Who are the best person among them? We are tired for the democracy. Democracy has never gone long, and they have destroyed many things. Then look at the number of graduates and it's done now. Where are they going to work? And all of us are burning. All of us are multiplying. Then we said Nigeria property, you have sold everything finished. Then what confidence do you youth have when they come out to complain? They will say what they want so that we make mercy to vote for them. At the end of the thing, they go back to the all of us are of civil servant. When they go back to their seat, you will never see what they said by truth again. Then what Nigeria are? It's better so just to come back. Well that's actually absurd. If in my own thing it's absurd actually. Because um, for the federal government, I think we are running a parallel government here. The system is running a parallel confederation where the government will take something and the citizenry, as in the citizens of the very federation that are being governed by, are not really taking that into cognizance. It's really so terrible and it's really affecting us as a country. So far, I must uh, be very sincere with you, it has not been a very palatable one. Uh, in as much as uh, we all want a better Nigeria, you know, we there's there's need for us to also put other things into consideration. Um, the the Naira redesign that has uh, eventually caused you know the its scarcity right now, it's it's uh, it's not a very favorable one. Um, I had a, a personal experience just this morning, you know, where I bought something from. The woman that sells uh, snacks, you know. So after 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 buying what I wanted to buy, and in the course in the process of paying her, you know, that was when she, she she said, you know, she's not accepting the old money. But meanwhile, that, that that's the same money that I took from a POS. You know, actually took some money from a POS, and the money the guy gave me, you know, it's old money. So only for me to use the same money to buy something and it's being rejected. So you can see it's uh, it's, it's really frustrating, you know, it's uh, devastating. And uh, it's a situation that uh, one should not even, you know, uh, think about, you know. So, so I feel, I feel, you know, I feel it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a process, you know, that need that need to be nipped in the bud with immediate effect because if this this continues, if this lingers, you know, it's going it's really going to affect, you know, a lot of things. And uh, before you know it, you know, what you don't expect, you know, Nigeria is is a country that is so complex, you know, what you don't expect before you know it you begin to see chaos here and there. I think the policy is, how would I put it, progressive, they are progressing in error. Because if you check out in the society, you discover that we don't have enough new Naira notes in circulation. What I personally experienced, the other day I went to the ATM, was a withdrawal of the old Naira notes. So now if you are stopping the usage of the old Naira notes, why is the new Naira very scarce? It's simply progressing in error. I think the policymakers and the people that came up with this redesign note should think very, very well because virtually every aspect of Niger, aspect of our lives, they are suffering, they are abject poverty. People in the rural, I mean, in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the villages and our communities are complaining. Not to talk of us that are in the urban areas. Now. The thing the government should do is to allow the old and new currency to run interchangeably. And now extend it to the, maybe probably by six months. So by that time, everything has adapted. Everything would have normalized. Than saying you should not accept the old currency, whereas the new currency is short in circulation. And another thing is the election. Our politicians are taking advantage of the fact. Because we are meant to understand that this old Naira, I mean new Naira note was printed in a large quantity. Now, how do you monitor it? For instance, somebody sold, I wanted to withdraw 10,000 from a POS. She told me that she's going to give me 8,000 from my withdrawal. And I said, what's the reason why you're collecting 2,000 out of the 10,000? She said she paid 112,000 in the bank. For her to collect hundred thousand, so invariably they are collecting twelve thousand on each hundred thousand. Now, what is the Apex Bank, the regulatory, the regulatory body, doing? They are not doing anything. You see, this one is touched in the banks. 
the high and mighty, the bourgeois and the elites will call them and they will give them excess money and carry this new Naira note and hold it. And when they hold it, God knows how it will be at the larger populace and they will begin to suffer and will begin to cry for business will suffer, things will suffer, you know, uh, what do they call livestock and every other thing will be an increase. Go to Otako Market, go to Wuse Market. I boarded a vehicle this morning. The driver gave me a warning before I even sat down. He said, if you don't have the new Naira, don't board. And you see a long queue. And when I interviewed them, I discovered that all of them were having the old Naira note. So how do business move? But here and then, they, you see the politicians spending the new Naira note. So I think Nigeria is sitting on a cake of gunpowder. And if nothing is done about it, it may end up in anarchy. I'm sorry to say it, but that's the truth. Because when you get to the market, you cannot buy. You are having the old Naira note. If you get to the bank, they will chase you away. Withdrawal from the automatic teller machine is the old Naira note. Uh, the the, 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 the Akara seller on the street is telling you she, he or she needs the new Naira note. The transporter is telling you he needs the new Naira note. If you go there, it's transfer. Transfer will stay to you the whole day. And there's, there's another problem, that's a problem of transfer. When you do transfer, whether it is system problem or the bank's problem, I don't understand. It will stay like three days. So you find out the cash policy is not working. We need to sit down and think like a nation that wants to move forward so that we'll be able to solve this problem. Outside that, <laughs> danger looms. My brother, the system is not working. Let's tell ourselves the truth. We are all Nigerians. The system is not working. You know, and if the government that is in place now is not really taking proactive steps or measures to see how to, to curtail all of this, the system is not working. From the end of the affair, they said when the head of the fish is rotten, even the body said it's not nonsense in me. Do you understand? So let's try to see, let the government, let's let the government of the day wake up, let them stand to their tax and see how they will get this thing sorted. It's not easy for Nigerians. People are passing through a lot. You go to the street, you cannot afford to buy something. The common masses who voted this, this very government into power are not doing are doing nothing to salvage the country. It's not really working. So please, they should try to they should send the, 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 the message to whoever is in the helm of the affair to make sure they put things in place. Please. Of course, why I feel this is uh, this is not the best option at the moment is the fact that uh, um, you know. People, people are out. This is an election period. Uh, people need money, you know. Some people want to travel, you know, to their to their states where they are going to vote, you know. But you know, they can't access this money, you know. The money is scarce, you know. And then people also, people are also preparing, you know. Uh, to, that people are preparing to run up their businesses for for the period because of election, you know. And uh, the scarcity is just is just is just crazy, you know. So to me, I feel it's not it's not the right time. You know, for the, the policy is a very healthy one. It's a very good one, but the timing is what uh, is what matters. I know, of course, the government have, have their own reasons. You know, uh, they want to tell you that uh, you know the essence is for financial inclusion, uh, for reduction of uh, vote buying. You know, among others. But why doing that? You need to carry everybody along, like I said earlier. Everybody should be carried carried along. So this is not the right time, but the policy is a good one. So I, in, a, in a nutshell, this is, I feel it is not the right time. Therefore, it should be kept, it should be nipped in the bud immediately. Let something be done, you know, in a, very, very, you know, uh, fast, you know, to, to come out of, for us to be able to come out of this situation. It's quite unfortunate. If you ask me, it's quite unfortunate, seriously. I really don't know what to say because I'm short of what at, at this moment. So I don't really know what, uh, I don't have an advice for this. But I just pray that God will help us all. Even the forthcoming election, I really pray that God will help us to really elect who is going to represent the masses properly. Not just, you know, the system is not really working, honestly. We are suffering. The masses are suffering. The, the, the policy is a good one. It's just that the timing is, is wrong. The timing is wrong in the sense that, you know, the uh, CBN did not put their house, you know, in order before, you know, uh, unleashing this, this policy. At least they should have put everything in, 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 in order, and that has to do with, you know, putting the right, the right resources in place. You know, their production capacity, measure it, and be sure that, you know, 
you know, once they enter the market, once once they, they introduce the, the policy, it will not cost in mayhem here and there. So I feel now that they're already out, it's too late, you know. You know? So they're already out, and they are, they are not meeting up with their, with the demands, you know, of the of the, the masses. So I feel the two the two notes, you know, should remain a legal tender, you know, for now, pending when they are able to you know put their house in order, you know. The two notes should continue to you know to exist as legal tenders for at least a period of you know six months. You know, that's what it's been that's what's been practiced in other in other you know uh, quarters. So they should continue, the two notes should continue. But if they must not continue, then if they must not continue, if the old notes must not, must not continue, then they should they should employ more hands. Okay, they should employ, they employ more hands in addition to the contractor, you know, that is printing the money. So that you know there, there will be a massive, you know, uh, a mass production, you know. For us to be able to come out of this, because if it continues like this, like I say, it's not really helping us. So I feel, you know, they should either employ more hands or the two, the two no should continue as legal tender for now, till pending when you know they are, they are ready to put their ass in order.